Right guys, so here is the Oidroid C2 and uh, you can see I've uh, connected it to, I've connected a Bluetooth dongle and here is, um, this goes to the keyboard and this goes, this is the power and uh, the USB um, uh, connection to the display. So the way it works, this, the way this uh, display works is that this Oidroid sends serial signals, um, well it's kind of sending serial data, so basically anything that you send, images or text, will be broken up into serial bits, fed into this, and then uh, this will reconstruct um, basically use like a dot matrix printer really it will basically paint the display which will I'll show you in a minute so um, HDMI so I'm going to connect the HDMI port here uh, like that now this thing here is the wireless dongle so we can connect that up here and of course we need Ethernet so Ethernet is there and um, now that we've got everything there we just need to put the power on and this is the power which will go into here like this so it's booting up now see the display has popped up so we'll, we'll do that again I'll just show you basically it just it just flashes a signal, just the Oidroid text and saying that it's alive. And then I'll show you what's on the screen now. Hi guys, so basically what I'm going to show you guys now is really how to play around with that, uh, that little display there, the Show 2 display and, and get it to do some stuff. So let's go and have a look at the libraries. Uh, now you can find this information, you just have to Google it, you just go and type um, exa examples, examples show to Oidroid. And if you go and look in here, this, this website here, it will basically give you a, a bit of a rundown on what what you need to do. So. Basically, you have to download some software. So you basically use these commands to install from the Git library and clone basically the the software. Now, there's a couple of examples here. There's some C code, and uh, there's some uh, Bash shells as well. So let's go to the directory where this is all at. So we just use this command here, and we'll just copy and paste that in here and we'll go there so that's this where we are now we, we've got we, we basically there's a lin there's an android um library uh so software source code and then there's the um the linux one so uh, what we're going to do is i'm, I'm going to basically show you the status uh command now so the status command uh, is really easy to execute you basically just got to run this uh, this command here down here let me just show you here so uh, you just use so you got to compile it. if you want to make any changes just use ccc to compile it but let's just uh, run it as it is so just click that in here and paste and watch what happens so can you see that the display is now being refreshed now this is actually a linux process is constantly going if i stop this um, process then you won't get those updates that you're seeing now so I'll show you now. So if I do a control C, you can see the display actually stops working. And then if I do it again, it will start, it'll start painting. Basically, it's like a dot matrix printer and you're, and you're pumping serial data. You're getting the content you're sending as a serial stream of data and the display is just displaying it. But if, but if the loop stops like now, then it won't, nothing will happen. So let's, let's try something else. Let's try the other shell script which they've given here which is a bash now again you can edit this you can compile it now let's um 
let's try this example that we've got here, which is we'll just run it as it is. So we'll just use this command here. Um, and we'll just do a cut and copy and paste and you'll see what happens. So we just paste it and it will change. Okay. So now you, it stopped. We stopped displaying. Now we can go and change. If we just go and edit that particular file, we can, we can make some changes. So let's just have a look at the directory again here. And, you know, we, we can go and change the, the bash cell. So if we go do a nano, or, uh, or droid, or droid dot sh. Oops, that's not going to work. So, control that. So, the actual, so let's go and do nano o d r o i d dot sh, and then there's the code there. So, if I wanted to actually change the content of what's been displayed, I just go and change this here, which I actually did. I actually put RTR, and you probably see RTR there. So I can change this to, to something else. We'll we just call it, I don't know, uh, uh, C2. So just say C2, and then we'll, we'll save it, and we'll exit out of there, and we'll run it again. And you'll see that it's now C2. So this will keep going as long as this program is running. But as soon as we stop it, yeah, the, the screen will stop working. Now, you can also paint images to this particular display in the form of a serial, in this form of a serial command. And again, you can go and edit the image. And then let's just send those images across now. There you go. We just drop that in there. And I'll just show you how it works. So uh, it will start painting the screen. As you can see, it's painting all those different high resolution images. And as you can see, the image is being built up like a dot matrix printer. So you can you can see that it's actually just just basically painting this. So it's it's gonna it's you're gonna have to run if you're gonna be running uh, display displaying something, you're gonna have to run a process which is constantly in a loop. And uh, just feed it information and it'll keep updating the display. That's about it, guys. Um, really, I'm just starting to play with this myself. So let's just stop this. It's a, it's a fantastic little piece of kit. You got all the source code here. These are the images. You know, got the, you got all these images here. You got the butterfly. You got the penguin. You can change those and, and basically change it to whatever you want. You can put something else that you like on there. So it's, these are just examples. Let's just have a look at the C code. So nano status status dot c and and you, you you see that's the the C code for the status uh, information. Uh, it's, if you're into C, if you know C a little bit, you know you, you know that um, really down here you've got uh, some declarations of strings, and then we've got the right. Um, well, we've got a definition of a function here and a structure as well uh, to, care, to basically hold the data. So th there's, these are the different structures. And then there's actually a, this is how the UART, the UART is set up. The USB serial port is set up. You can see it's opening the serial port here and sending some commands and, um, and then getting it ready to, uh, it's doing some acknowledgments here, doing, looking at some flags and then and then basically goes and really goes and gets the this information, this space, etc., uh, from uh, the system and system information, etc. And then it goes down to the bottom. And if we go down all the way to the bottom here, uh, let's just tab down. Yeah, so CPU count, CPU data, etc. And um, and then at the bottom, it just basically calls the UART setup function and really pumps out that data to the. So this is the actual write data uh, routine, and this is the main here. So again, setting up it's just setting up the structure, initiating some variables, um, doing some checks, 
and then really setting up the UART and then just pumping out the data here, uh, writing out the data to the USB uh, port. And then it just puts into a loop and just constantly keeps writing. And that's where the infinite loop is. So really, that's that's it, guys. Um, and um, I'll show you again, really, how this works. Um, we'll just go back to the status. So there you go. And you can see. And there you go. It's uh, really running up the status uh, a little display. So yeah, don't forget to compile. If you're making any changes, don't forget to compile uh, the, the raw file before you send it out to display. So anyway, have a little bit of fun there, guys. Anyway, this this thing is great. I mean, look, it's um, it's got all the functionality here. Um, it's a, it's a great little box if you want to play around with it. And I haven't run the Android version yet, but you know, it's it's for, for what it is for for forty bucks. I think it's it's pretty good to play around with. So have fun, enjoy, and see you next time. Bye.